This is the bender that I made. It's a helmet that goes over my head. These are the controls. Turn the lights on. This one makes them wink. These two paddles are for when you want them to talk. This button here is for O. Big O, burnt out bulb. Smile, same burnt out bulb. And to blink. Now to run, to run all these lights, I had to use diodes, otherwise the power goes backwards and they would all light up. Here's a picture of diodes. The top one's like, uh, I forgot what it's called, it's just a black diode, and then you got a crystal diode, and then a metal diode. And the bottom is a schematic symbol for a diode. And what a diode does is the electricity goes positive, current goes one way and not the other. Otherwise, when you'd hit a button, all the lights would light up. It isolates each different circuit that I want to do here. So, oh, turn that off. Around Bender's mouth, I used the aviation cutters, very handy tool. You make a small hole and then you can cut curves with it. And then his eyes. This is just glued on with tub and tile silicone that's paintable. And then I spray painted it all uh, silver. It's pretty sturdy pieces together. And now for it's uh, This is the setup for his mouth, as you see. I used regular light bulbs because Bender seemed to have regular light bulbs. There's a common negative to all the bulbs and then each bulb's got its own wire running up to the top. And to do it, I needed I think like 60 diodes to say. There's Bender's brains. These batteries run the lights. These run the mouth. And these are all the different diodes. And the wires go through here. Actually, I think the inside of Bender is cooler than the outside. And then I'll do it.